Kashyapa is a revered Vedic sage of Hinduism. He was one of the seven ancient sages Rishi considered as Saptarishis in Rig Veda, numerous Sanskrit texts and Indian mythologies. He is the most ancient Rishi listed in the Colophon verse in the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad. Kashyapa is a common ancient name, referring to many different personalities in the ancient Hindu and Buddhist texts. History Kasyapa, alternatively Kachapa, means «turtle» in Sanskrit. According to Michael Witzel, it is related to Avestan Kasyapa, Sogdian Kaisfo, New Persian Kasaf, Kas a p which mean «tortoise», after which Kashav Rud or a river in Turkmenistan and Khorasan is named. Others trace it to Tokarian B. Kakap, «brainpan», Polish Kakap, Cherup, «brainpan», «hardliner», Tokarian A. Kakap, «turtle», «tortoise». Fritz Stahl agrees that Kashyapa means tortoise but believes that it is a non Indo European word. Kashyapa is one of Saptarishi, the seven famed rishis considered to be author of many hymns and verses of the Rig Veda. 1500 to 1200 BCE. He and his family of students are, for example, the author of the second verse of 10.137, and numerous hymns in the 8th and 9th mandala of the Rig Veda. He is mentioned in verse 2.2.4 of the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, along with Atri, Vashistha, Vishvamitra, Jamadani, Bharadwaja and Gotama. Kashyapa is also mentioned as the earliest rishi in Colophon verse 6.5.3 of Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, one of the oldest Upanishadic scriptures of Hinduism. Kashyapa is mentioned in other Vedas and numerous other Vedic texts. For example, in one of several cosmology-related hymns of Atharvaveda tilde 1000 BCE, Kashyapa is mentioned in the allegory-filled Book 19. His name appears in Patanjali's ancient Bhashya on verse 1.2.64 of Panini. His name is very common in the epic and Purana literature. <laughs> <laughs> Buddhist texts In Buddhist Pali canonical texts such as Daya Nikaya, Tevijasutta describes a discussion between the Buddha and Vedic scholars of his time. The Buddha names ten rishis, calls them, "...early sages", and makers of ancient verses that have been collected and chanted in his era, and among those ten rishi is Kasapa the Pali spelling of Kashyapa in Sanskrit. <laughs> Kashmir Kashmir, the northern Himalayan region of the Indian subcontinent got its name from Kashyapa Rishi. The name Kashmir, states Christopher Sneddon, may be a shortened form of Kashyapa Mir, or the Lake of the Sage Kashyapa, or alternatively derived from Kashyapa Meru, or the sacred mountains of Kashyapa. In ancient texts of Greece, linked to the expedition of Alexander the Great, this land has been called Kasperia, possibly a contraction of Kashyapamera. The word Kaspapyros appears in Greek geographer Hecate's text, and as Kaspatiros in Herodotus, who states that Skylix the Coriandian began in Kaspatiros to trace the path of Indus River from the mountains to where it drained in the sea. Kaspatiros may be same as Kaspapyrus or Kasyapa per city of Kashyapa in other texts. Topic <laughs> texts. Kashyapa is revered in the Hindu tradition, and numerous legends and texts composed in the medieval era are reverentially attributed to him in various Hindu traditions. Some treatises named after him or attributed to him include Kashyapa Samhita, also called Vritajivakya Tantra or Jivakya Tantra, is a classical reference book on Ayurvedic pediatrics, gynecology and obstetrics. It was revised by Vatsya. The treatise is written as a tutorial between the medical sage Kashyapa and his student named Vridhajivaka, and mostly related to caring for babies and diseases of children. Kashyapa Janakunda, or Kashyapa's Book of Wisdom, is a 9th century text of the Vishnavism tradition. Kashyapa Dharmasutra, likely an ancient text, but now believed to be lost. The text's existence is inferred from quotes and citations by medieval Indian scholars. Kasyapa Sangeeta, likely another ancient text, but now believed to be lost. A treatise on music, it is quoted by Shaivism and Advaita scholar Abhinavagupta, wherein he cites sage Kasyapa explanation on Vinayoga of each rasa and bhava. Another Hindu music scholar named Danyangama mentions Kasyapa's contributions to the theory of alankara musical note decorations. 
Kasyapazilpa, also called Amsumidagama, Kasipiya or Silpazastra of Kasyapa, is a Sanskrit treatise on architecture, iconography and the decorative arts, probably completed in the 11th century. <laughs> <laughs> Hindu texts Kashyapa is mentioned in numerous Hindu texts such as the Puranas and the Hindu epics. These stories are widely inconsistent, and many are considered allegorical. For example, in the Ramayana, he is married to the eight daughters of Daksha, while in the Mahabharata and Vishnu Purana he is described as married to thirteen daughters. Some of the names of the thirteen daughters Kashyapa married in the Hindu text Vishnu Purana are different than the list found in Mahabharata. Some texts describe him as son of Marichi and a descendant of the Sola dynasty, others as a descendant of Uttamapada who married Daksha's daughters, and yet others relate Kashyapa as a descendant of Hiranya Kashyapa. These texts may correspond to different characters, all named Kashyapa. In some Puranas, Kashyapa is said to have drained the Kashmir Valley to make it inhabitable. Some interpret this legend to parallel the legend of Buddhist Manjushri draining Nepal and Tibet, wherein the draining is an allegory for teaching ideas and doctrines, removing stagnant waters of ignorance and extending learning and civilization into the valley. The Sindh city Multan, now in Pakistan, also called Mulistana, has been interpreted alternatively as Kashyapapura in some stories after Kashyapa. Yet another interpretation has been to associate Kashyapa as River Indus in the Sindh region. However, these interpretations and the links of Multan as Kashyapapura to Kashmir have been questioned. According to the ancient legends, Kashyapa reclaimed that land from a vast lake, his school was based there, and the land was named after him. Wives and children The Puranas and the epics of Indian tradition mention Kashyapa and his genealogy numerous times. These are inconsistent, with allegorical stories exalting him as the father of all gods, men, demons and empirical universe, in some conflated as the Kerma avatar of the Hindu god Vishnu. In the Vishnu Purana, Kashyapa marries thirteen daughters of Daksha, Aditi, Diti, Kadru, Danu, Arishta, Sarasa, Sarabi, Vinata, Tamra, Krotavasha, Ira, Vishva and Muni. Kashyapa, in the Vishnu Purana and Vayu Purana, is attributed to be the father of the Devas, Asuras Yashash Dravidas and all living creatures with various daughters of Daksha. He married Aditi, with whom he fathered Surya or alternatively Agni, the Adityas, and in two inconsistent versions Vamana, an avatar of Vishnu, is the child of Aditi and Kashyapa. In these fables, Kashyapa is the brother-in-law of Dharma and Adharma, both of whom are also described as married to other daughters of Daksha. <laughs> Kashyapa in Sikhism In the Brahm after composition present in Dasam Granth, second scripture of Sikhs, Guru Gobind Singh mentioned Rishi Kashyapa as the second avatar of Brahma. According to him, Rishi Kashyapa had great knowledge of the Vedas and gave it a satisfactory universal interpretation. He married four wives, Benita, Kadru, Diti and Aditi and had many children. Some of them remained religious deities and others became irreligious demons. See also equals equals notes.